In this video, I'll show you how to use a third-party service called Zapier to connect your Trading Central video feed and automatically upload those videos to your YouTube channel. Let's get started. So first you'll see here that I'm, I've made my account with Zapier. They have different levels of accounts which you can look into. Uh, and I'm going to click the button at the top that says Make a Zap. This is going to give me the option to choose a trigger, like, hey, there's a new video added to my uh, Trading Central RSS feed. Um, and when that trigger occurs, then we're going to create uh, an action, and that action is to actually upload that video to a specific YouTube channel. All right, so step number one, choose an app. So I'm going to look for RSS. RSS by Zapier, and this is going to be my trigger. I'm going to trigger when there's a new item in the feed. And save and continue. Now what is this feed? So Trading Central will give you the URL, the link, to your feed of Trading Central videos. And you can use that feed um, in the Zapier application so that it will become aware of what videos you have access to. Now, the link today looks something like this. Um, we'll send you this link. It'll contain a number of different uh, data points that give a path to the video itself, gives titles, descriptions, things like that. I'm simply going to copy that URL, and I'm going to go back to Zapier and paste it in the field that asks for the feed URL. So there we are. Uh, I, in this case, today, I don't need a username or a password, so I'll skip those steps. And I'll even use the default setting for what triggers a new feed item. So all I've done is simply add the feed URL. And I will click, move this out of my way, and click continue. Um, so it's just asking to double check a few things, make sure there's at least one recent item in that feed, make sure it matches um, the data points displayed down here. But long story short, we just paste in that URL, fetch and continue. The test was successful, couldn't be easier, and we'll continue again. So all we've done is paste in the RSS URL that Trading Central has provided you with as a trigger. Now we're gonna choose the action. There's all sorts of actions available to post to different areas. Today, we're going to choose YouTube. And the action we'd like to do is to upload the video. So this is going to be a direct upload to your YouTube channel. Often, our customers will actually use the YouTube feed to then send links to other social media applications, whether it's your Twitter or your, um, your Facebook page and so on. So let's continue with our YouTube video upload. Now here, we would uh, select a YouTube channel to connect. You're going to click this button that says Connect an Account. And in there, it's simply going to make sure that you've selected your YouTube account and you're logged in. You're basically attaching your YouTube um, channel to this application. I've already done that. Uh, and so I'll just save and continue. This way you maintain all of your control over your own social media application passwords um, and we don't um, take on that responsibility for you. It's good for you to be able to protect those. Um, so here we have the setup. So we're going to get a new item in our feed, we're going to upload the video to YouTube, but how are we going to upload it? Let's fill out some of these fields. In the title field, uh, we want to take that title from the feed that we've given you. So I'm going to press this insert a field item on the right, and I'm going to find the title. Very easy because it's called title. Uh, so I'll select title, and it will automatically take the title from the feed and use that as the YouTube title. In this case, we also have a, a lengthier description. So we will populate that field from the feed. The video itself, you can also find there's an MP4 path in this case. 
So we're just selecting fields that it's automatically taking out of the feed. So here we have raw enclosure URL and there's a .mp4. That's your clue that you're selecting the right field to grab that actual video. Uh, don't need to change anything uh, for, uh, well, I'll make sure that this is set to public for privacy status. status. Um, and carry on, notify subscribers, yes, and continue. And here we are, very, very easy. Set up the RSS feed URL, specify we wanna to upload to video, enter those fields to make sure we have title, description, and the path to the MP4 file. And now I'll send a test to YouTube. Test was successful, finish the job, turn on my zap. This is important, we've tested it. Um, but let's call this my TC video feed upload to YouTube. Turn my zap on. And as the page says, awesome, your zap is working. So now you can save yourself countless hours of time instead of downloading videos from us and uploading those to your channels. You can automate that process with uh, a very inexpensive, if not free, third-party service. Enjoy.